I'm Abram Finkelstein. I'm going to use this mic because no one seems to like it, and I feel bad. Uh, I'm an artist and writer and a founding member of the Grand Fury and Silence Equals Death Collectives. And thank you. Thank you. I had to write that down. Uh, according to The Guardian, the art strike um, is futile. I get that. I'm normally like a pitchfork and torches kind of guy. But no political action is futile ever. Um, I believe that analyzing the efficacy of political action, uh, it might be useful for journalists and social historians, but referring to the ebb and flow of political resistance as a success or a failure is to frame it in the language of capital. And I don't believe that that is the way to go. Um, to imagine political, I thought I would use my laptop because um, this is my shaky hand and my phone is too small. Uh, to imagine political resistance as an accomplishment is to imagine it as a thing. Um, but resistance is not a thing or an objective or in this case, uh, or an object, it's a project and it can't be acquired. Uh, it can only be activated. It needs no endpoint to express its efficacy. And although it dies when we personally cease participation in it, it's instantly reborn the second another one of us picks it up. Um, in 1981, the man that I was building my life around started showing signs of immunosuppression uh, before uh, Rock Hudson was outed by the disease and died. And, three years before the formation of the AIDS Activist Coalition Act Up. The isolation I felt compelled me to form a collective with five of my friends, and I proposed that we do a poster. We had no idea what would happen, but we had raised our voices anyway. We knew we couldn't be the only ones who were enraged, and what we discovered, of course, is that we weren't. We were surrounded within weeks of wheat-pasting the Silence Equals Death poster, we found ourselves surrounded by a community of people also in search of their individual voices that we didn't realize existed. Um, and one that went on to, found, to find its voice by the activation of our social spaces. Our collective designed silence equals death, but it was this activist community that created it as we understand it. And without this community, the poster could have come and gone in the night, and you never would have seen it or heard of it. Um, this image, as we currently understand it, is a product of collective political action, which can be transformative. So why am I here today? Well, I'll do anything that Occupy asks me to do. But uh, in 1968, when I was 16, someone came into the common room at the Quaker school in the town where I was raised, um, wanting to copy a poster that he had just brought back from the student strikes in 1968 in, in France. He asked me to help him, uh, and that was the day I learned how to silkscreen. And it gave me this idea. That fall, I designed a political poster of my own in shop class in a public school while I was learning to use an uh, offset press. It's what gave me the idea to suggest making a poster to my collective uh, in 1985, the Silent Equals Death poster. Um, so instead of staying home and writing about shutting down the system, which is what uh, I was going to do today, uh, I'm here on the off chance that another 16-year-old uh, might be here in the visiting the museum with their family today and might hear me say that political resistance is a project every one of us has a responsibility to and might change the world in ways we have yet to imagine. We can't predict the impact of a political act before we express it. So political agency can never be referred to as futile. Futility is what happens when we do nothing.